Hello everyone, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and today we're going to be doing a Scrolls ranked match. So, my last Scrolls video was a trials video, and I'm just going to say it right now, there are going to be no, uh, no more trials walkthroughs. I started to do them off camera just for gold, and it's really, I think it's more interesting to watch me do ranked matches now, so the... Trial series is discontinued. I had did like four of them or something, but they're not too hard. You can do them yourself But I'm still gonna post more scrolls videos now as ranked matches I knew because last in my last video it probably like maybe I didn't even have a rating now. I have a 1644 rating. It's pretty good I've been playing a ton of ranked matches all day and my ranking is 2014 so I'm almost in the top 2,000 players of this game now, and about it has about 100,000 players. So it's pretty cool to think that if you take 100 players that play scrolls, I am probably going to be better than 98 of them. I don't know, it's pretty cool for me to think about. And I have tons of scrolls. Every time I get um 1,000 uh, gold, I just buy I buy uh, one of the scroll packs. So. It's also one of the reasons that there has been less Minecraft videos over the past like month, because I've been playing these ranked matches all day, and why not make videos about them? So let me just show you the deck I've been using. I used to just use Growth. I did buy the uh, Growth pre-constructed deck, and I've been playing so much I kind of almost perfect almost perfected my deck. This is the deck right now. This is almost exactly how I want it. Um, I do want a third fertile soil, but people really jack up the prices on those when you're trying to trade for them because they're pretty rare. So two is just fine for now. I think I'm going to get a fertile soil in there and maybe take out a barrel of ground. So yeah, that's my order deck. I I may add in a splash of order in there, like uh, s some pothers and transpositions, but not right now. So let's get right into this with a ranked match. Perfect, we found one right away. Alright, so this is a live commentary, so things might happen and I might get my uh, ass handed to me. Good luck. Alright, he went first, he's energy good. Uh, I was hoping he's not order. I'm pretty bad against order. Um, we're not gonna eh, quake. Yeah, we'll, qu we'll keep quake. Because energy has a lot of structures. And Quake can take those down pretty fast with its three damage to all structures. No, oh, he didn't say good luck to me back. Okay, a uh, rally. We're not gonna need this rally yet, so we'll just sack it for more growth. So both of us have not played any units yet. Okay, let's see what he does. He he plays a Hellspitter Mortar. Nice big wall right there. Um, defending the middle lane. I don't know how I feel about this. But I am going to sacrifice the god hands. I don't see myself using that in the near future. And there's so many crimson bowls and rallies in this deck. It's really not too big of a loss. I have two more god hands too. Because these cards I really like. The mangy and great wolf is a great combo. I almost never sack a kinfolk veteran. Such good card. And then, um, Stag Heart, I mean, it can come in handy. The God Hand was probably the thing I need to sack for the most. Okay. So, could sack for resources and get and put on a mangy, but there's really no point in doing that when I don't have any wolves on the field before that. So, I'm going to... I will... Sack the stag heart. And I'll stick a burial ground right here. Hopefully this mortar doesn't hit it. With my luck it's going to. The mortars always hit me. Like one time I had this one great wolf on the entire board with five health, and he had one mortar and it just nailed him. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Wow, it could have hit any space in the board and it hits right there. I really wanted that so it could absorb a couple of uh, 
couple of the scattergunner's shots. Um, okay, we're definitely going to save for Quake here. Kinfolk Brave is normally a very valuable card, but not so much against energy because of energy has so many burns and sparks and thunder charges. Everything could use to take on you with two or three health. So we're just going to sack that. I could play the Great Wolf here. And I'm going to do that. I know I'm probably going to quake next turn, but the Great Wolf has enough health to absorb a quake. His Scattered Gunner does not, and that structure he has, the Mortar, will take 3 damage. Hopefully he just puts down some random units right here. Okay. Now I will quake. Ooh, I got a sister. Uh, we're going to sack the sister. Quake. I'm going to start moving up a little bit. I do have a mangy, so... Well, he's going to attack next turn anyways. So now, let's see. What is he going to do? He has two cards, six energy. Okay. Just hoping he, um... Doesn't burn. Oh, yeah. I was hoping he... Oh, well, that's a pretty good card on him anyways. But a burn would be very bad right now. And of course, it's probably going to hit me. It didn't. It's close, though. Okay. Hmm. So, we're going to move this... Or should we? This guy's going to attack and destroy this great wolf. Or no, we have a veteran, so we could just put that in front of him. I'll do that. So, we don't need the stag car right now. We got another quake. Alright. Quake destroys him. And destroys him. And I will kill him because he has three health, he will survive. Or no, he has Ember Bonds, receives two damage before attacking. If I quake, I can essentially uh, no, I'm not I'm not going to quake. I want it's very tough. Alright, I'm just going to quake. Alright, he's going to die. He has one health, so we basically cleared the board. And we have one more scroll than him, so... And he did go before us, so it's basically a restart. So he decides to play the clock library in front. I will be able to take that down probably soon. So I'm going to play a veteran up top. Get that down a little bit. I'll sack the, I'll sack the mean. I don't have any wolves to pair with it right now. Any brave? Hopefully, it doesn't have a spark on that brave. If all goes well, I will be able to destroy that uh, clock library next turn with the brave. Don't have many cards here. It's good that I have that fertile soil. I might end up fertile soiling that um, the uh, veteran because he's going to be down to two health. The Kinfolk Veteran, he's a he's a good unit all around because of the haste and the uh, you get a 3-4 creature after the haste with 3 damage. But after the haste with 3 damage, he's, it's, he's not that valuable. And he'll be down to 2 health. Alright. Peta go- oh, I forgot to tell him. Um, this... Game is recording. Oh my god, this first oh he just declared my board. For YouTube. Is that okay with you? Um let's see. Oh, I could go yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the signature sister Fertile Soil. And now I have all these creatures. Let's see. Um, I'll sack the rally, and I'll play a vetter and a ragged wolf. Okay. I could have used that ranger's min on the, um, gun automaton, but it's not too much of a threat. One health, and, um, his cooldown wasn't even zero anyways. Only two attack. Plays another gun automaton. 
and an Inferno Blast. Good Inferno Blast there. I would have been able to destroy this soon, but now I can't. Because he's going to die due to that. Or I could just destroy it with the um, Ranger's Bane. And I think... Oh, I could quit. I'm quaking. My third, is this my third quake of the game? It may be. Boom. And now that guy will die soon because he has the lower countdown. Unless he puts like a mortar in front of it. Which energy does all the time and there it is. Alright. And another clock library. It's interesting that he puts his clock libraries in front. Because they are very, um, they're very, um, uh, vulnerable there. Sorry, that's the phone ringing. Okay. Um, I could Rangers Bane that guy and destroy it. If I don't do anything with that guy, if I don't do anything here, my Brave is dead. I don't want that to happen. He could very well spark me anyways, but. So we are going to actually put down a burial ground and that will absorb some hits for us and I'll stick a ragged wolf down here and why not clear our hand and we're looking good here we both have similar amount of scrolls okay round 12 see what he does hopefully he can't do much all right I'm surprised he did not ask what my channel is I was telling him at the end to check back at my channel in like a week if you didn't know these videos are recorded in advance I don't record and upload them the same day okay so we're going with the cannon Okay, good. We got some nice creatures. So I'll do two damage to that. I want to destroy that. Um, I'll put you there. So you, whatever, whichever way I have to hit. I have, if I have to hit this side or that side, I'm good. It does leave him a bit vulnerable right there in an open lane. But energy, does, energy doesn't have that many, like, haste creatures or anything. Energy just has, um, a lot of removal spells, like, like, Violent Dispersal, Spark. Yep, there was Violent Dispersal. Okay, it's not a huge deal because he used one card to get rid of my one card, so one for one trade ooh potion on that guy that's not good because now I'm not gonna be able to take down what's behind him as fast this cannon and that cannon is gonna do a lot of damage okay I can destroy this so I'm gonna destroy it probably this turn or I could always just wait till next turn doesn't really matter because you can't protect it because you put it in the front um, I do have a stag heart. I would put it on him, protect him from sparks, and give him extra damage, but this guy's a potion anyways, he's gonna do the same one damage on him. Um, okay, this thing is a goner. Five damage on that. I could play a Jarl. No, I'm just gonna go with a veteran. I'll get this out of the... Nope, I always, I always change what I'm gonna do. I mean, really, I could I could just uh, play the veteran next turn. He can't do anything about it. Because no matter what, I have this veteran I could place right here, and this thing dies before um, before he can get the five scrolls from it. So when it become when the countdown is zero, he draws five three oh three three scrolls. That was five scrolls. Hopefully, he doesn't have a fury right now. Because then that thing blows up before I can destroy it. Alright. 
let's see what's going to happen. Iron Ogre. Okay. Now let's see. That thing's dead. That thing is going to die. Get rid of the Vetter. I have enough energy. Ooh, God Hand. Now, God Hand wouldn't really do that much for me right now. It would let me kill this without using my Veteran. But... The, uh... The Jarl's in front of the Brave. So he's just gonna do one damage to that, which isn't that good. So I won't be using that right now. I will stick a Veteran right there. Just spate these guys apart, prevent Thunder Surges. Um, two damage on that. Um, Alright. I will put a stag heart on. No, I'm just gonna Rangers main selling. I'll Rangers bane the ogre. I was thinking about doing it on the cannon because the cannon has that armor enchant, so it's easier just to do damage on that. But I have to kill the thing in front first. Anyways, the ogre is more powerful. It has relentless. If this guy, this thing wants to attack all it wants, it can only destroy one thing at a time. Then he has the relentless ability. All right, I'm looking good here. I have a good hand, stag heart. I could always stick in that brave, do some extra damage every turn, and then a. Wild card God Hand. Let's see what he does. Burn. Okay. Yeah, that's one problem with lower health growth units like uh, Ragged Wolves and Mangy Wolves and Braves against energy. All those. Up oh, there's the Fury. Okay. No use in a. I mean, God Hand, just like Crimson Bowl now, but when... Well, actually... I'll stack one of them for cards. See, um... If I actually use a God Hand, then this guy dies next turn without attacking. Because he has poison. And that's gonna go for five. Oh, it's a dilemma. I don't know what I want to... Oh, what am, what am I saying? I could just... Yeah, I have two creatures. All I have to do... Just move you back. Stick a Vetter behind you. And you have four attack. And I'll stick a Yarl in front of you. Now he dies. Because Yarl gains plus one attack for every adjacent unit. And I can just... If I move these guys up to give them extra attack, it sets up a good Thunder Surge. What do we have? Well, it will give him two extra tackles, seven, and that will only take that guy down one because he has the ability. Or actually won't do anything because this guy has an extra health that was going to go down by the poison anyways. So I'm not going to do anything. Keep my units not Thunder Surgeable. Uh, Thunder Surge on the middle lane would be good for him right now. It would kill one Jarl and a Vetter. Still sitting on that Stagheart and that God Hand. Stagheart is not as useful now because that Brave is gone. So unless a bad card comes, that is going to be Sack next turn. Okay. Do, do, do. Another Iron Ogre. Not too scary, because even though he packs that 7-7, seven, seven, three countdown, won't attack for a while. But what that does do, this guy gets to hurt this guy a lot. Good thing he has 6 health, not 5. Okay, so. 
if I got hand. Six, seven, one. All right, I'm just gonna god hand. And I could stack heart something. Hmm. I will get more resources. Now I will god hand. Boom. Wait, can I win? Let's see if we can win. No, we can't. Yeah, no way. So let's see. Five, I'll just destroy stuff. So let's see. Seven, I'll just stag heart you in front. That guy's dead. That guy gets hurt a lot. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I can go a three, a five. I will move you down. Give him more. Boom. Alright. Good. Even though we, we... Even though we cleared his board, that set up a great thunder, for, thunder search for him. And we have no more cards. He has five. That may not have been the best move. Maybe I shouldn't have gone closer to the Jarl so they would get more attack. I didn't need the attack, it was just idle damage. Um, let's protect you a little bit. Get a card. Another Jarl. Great Wolf, good. Okay, um. Stick you there. Move you down. Alright. We're still looking good. We're still getting creatures. He has no defenses up right now. And we're still... If we had a mangy right now, that'd be good. Proximity charge. Okay. At least the extra ones spawned on the row with a destroyed idol. So I was probably not going to attack down there anyways. Ember bonds. That guy's dead because it deals two damage to him hmm I got a mangy and a crimson bowl okay this guy's gonna do nothing so I might as well just try to give this Jarl some extra attack so let's see Seven. So, I don't want him to hit this proximity charge, so we'll be down to one health. But then I could take out this middle idol. Hmm. Interesting decisions. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep him alive. Oh well, this guy was useless. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. He doesn't give him extra attack. Five. And then I go for... Ooh, I can play... Yeah, I'm gonna play Meiji. Boom. Four plus uh, that's good. All's well. Move you there. Move you there. Should I play the veteran or the crimson bull? Play the veteran down here. Alright. Now he has to guard three idols that are far apart from each other. We basically won this game, but we have to remember he has six scrolls right now and eight energy. He can put some big walls, like some mortars, in front of those idols and start to work his bait way back into this. As growth, you want to win as early as possible. And usually. I'm not this strong at round 19. Usually when I'm growth, um, if I'm gonna win, I usually win within 15 rounds. But, he really, we, everything he puts down, we're able to destroy. Because all these units with different countdowns, they're just wrecking havoc. Okay, cannon, just to protect that idol. And I, gun automaton. Okay, um, perfect, we got a mangy. 
and oh a rally can we win yeah of course we can win yeah i'm, I'm rallying okay and might as well put down the main G before we rally. Can I destroy both things? No, I can't. Whatever. Rally time! Alright, so let's try to get as many stuff as possible. So we get... 7 plus... Oh, was, oh I just... Just surrender. Wouldn't let me. Wouldn't let me try to get four idols. G G W P. All right, he left. Couldn't tell my YouTube channel. Oh well. All right, so we got 17 rating change. Our new rating is 1661. Oh, he's so close to us. Let's see where we're ranked. I'm sure that we're in the top 2,000 players. Wow. We're at 1,683. It's pretty cool. Alright, so thanks for watching everybody, and I'm going to start doing these um, these kind of uh, ranked matches and other kind of scrolls videos more often, not as many trials, and I think I'm going to go try to do some trials right now, some more gold. I want to try to uh, make a better order deck, because I sold a lot of those uh, nice cards like Pothers and stuff to get a lot of um, like the fertile soils for my growth deck. So thanks for watching everybody, I hope to see you next time.